Hello everyone, this is Shi Dong from Sinotrack Howl. Today I will just give you a short presentation about the, the track crash test, okay? All the tracks have to comply with the UNECE R29 regulations, okay? And this regulation describes a series of tests which track cap should comply, okay? So the manufacturers have to design the, ca the cap in such a way that in event of crash, sufficient survival space is ensured okay for the occupants instead of measuring the the injuries from the damage for example okay what does this mean okay so during the crash test normally we will put a dummy inside the the cab like uh, like the driver okay and uh, we will simulate the crash scene okay by applying some external force in the event to crash the cap will be deformed and we will measure the space left for the occupants okay so there are a few tests that need to be done uh, the two mandatory tests are frontal impact and roof strength and the optional test is the rear wall okay and you will have a look at them in details what they are uh, of course as I mentioned uh, before the test, a uh, mannequin is also put, also put inside the cab, okay? So it will be used to measure the survival space after the test. And uh, let's look at the first test, which is the frontal impact, okay? And the a pendulum is used, okay, to push from the front of the truck, okay, and to produce a shock to the cab and after this crash we will measure the space left uh, for the occupant which is I mean the driver okay and then we will estimate if there's any survival space for the driver okay and this is the energy used for a heavy duty truck which is this is the gross vehicle weight which is uh, I think uh, more than 14 tons for a heavy duty truck, okay? This is the kilojoule used or the energy used for this crash, okay? And uh, of course, this is the, I think it's uh, like a made of steel, okay? It's very rigid and you have to have overlap, 100% overlap, okay? So let's look at the real crash test imposed on a single truck truck. So this is a short video, okay? As you can see, this car is, this truck is stopped here, okay? And a pendulum will crash in front of the truck. Okay, let's look at this again. Yeah, the video is quite fast. As you can see, this is the pendulum, okay? And here, they will have 100% overlap. Okay, and a certain amount of energy is applied to the front of the cab and it will generate deformation inside the cab and then we will measure if there's enough space for the survival of the driver or the dummy, okay? So this is the most important test, okay? After that, we have the roof strengthening test. This test is supposed to represent the 180 degree rollover accident, okay? Imagine this truck has an accident and the roof will touch the ground, okay? So there will be a force, okay, on top of the roof, okay? And that will normally equal to the load of the front axle, okay? And this is the, the maximum is 98 kilonewton, okay? So of course you can convert it to ton, okay? And this is the picture for the roof strength, and st roof strength test from Sinotrack, okay? And this is the two mandatory test. And the last one is the rear wall test, okay? In this test, a certain amount of load will be applied, okay, from the rear, to the rear wall of the cab, okay? This is to, si uh, this is to represent the impact by the load shifting forward when there is a break okay or a sudden stop of the track so uh, the load will be 
push forward, okay, and there will be some impact. Of course, if you have a dump truck uh, or a cargo truck where you have some barrier just after the cab, then it's not that necessary because this back of the because of this uh, box of the dump truck, for example, is taking the force generated by the load, okay? And here is a, a, a picture uh, of the rear wall test from Sinotrack. Of course, I mean, Sinotrack passed all three tests for all its series of uh, products. And of course, it's the same for other brands as well, because uh, I mean, it's mandatory in many countries, okay? That's the requirement for the, for the commercial vehicle. Okay, that's all. It's a very simple presentation. I hope you like it. Just to give you some information about the truck crash test. Okay, thanks, thanks again for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.